Good morning, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing one more uh, one-point linear perspective draw. Um, and this one's going to be similar to those basic shapes we started with, uh, but it's going to have a little bit of a twist to it. So um, today we're going to be doing what we call an aerial view of a downtown area or a city. Uh, and what I mean by aerial view is if uh, sometimes it's called a bird's, bird's eye view. Um, imagine if you were in a helicopter looking straight down at a city, uh, what that would look like from that perspective. Or if you were a bird flying over the city, uh, what that would look like, okay? Um, so again, we're gonna need a ruler or some kind of straight edge, like how we uh, talked about before. And before we draw any shapes or anything like that, we're actually gonna draw in where you want your streets or roads to be, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna use the width of my ruler uh, as my streets. Totally up to you how uh, narrow or wide you want to make these, but I'm going to make mine about this width. And you could have them be, uh, have some curves to them, be different thicknesses, totally up to you. I didn't want to move that. And I'm going to do one more. All right, so once we have some roads in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in our vanishing point, just like we've been doing. And now we can start thinking about where we want our buildings to go, okay? So the difference with how we're gonna be building or making our buildings compared to our basic shapes is with our basic shapes, we started with the top and had it go back into space. Now we're gonna be starting with um, basically the foundation of the building and having it go up from there. So it's kind of backwards from the way that we did it before, okay? So say I wanna have a building in this corner of the street right here. Um, I'm gonna start with the foundation uh, wherever I want this building to be. So if I want my building to be um, right up here against the street, I would go ahead and draw where I want that foundation to be. Okay, so this is one side of the building. And then using the vanishing point up from here, I'm gonna draw the height of what I want that building to be on either side. Okay, and then just like before, as long as we're using a parallel line, I can make that side of the building. Okay, so there's one side of the building. Now, using horizontal lines on either side of that, I could continue this over to make the top of my building when that ended right on that line. So very similar to how we did those basic shapes, but you kind of have to think about it uh, a little bit differently, right? So once we have the overall shape drawn in, we can erase out the road or anything else that it's going to cover over. And again, this would be the top of the building or the, the roof and then the side of the building coming back. So if you wanted to do something like windows going back in the space, um, you could measure across the side so that they're even. And then start to bring these back to the vanishing point. And that'll give us a little bit more detail. Okay, so there's some windows going back in the space. Um, up top, you could put um, an area for a helicopter to land. You could draw pools on the tops of your buildings, trees, whatever you want to put 
up at the top, okay? Um, so for this one, try to get at least four or five different buildings and try to have them be different shapes. You could obviously do uh, circular buildings, curved buildings, whatever you want to do, um, and then add a little bit of detail uh, to those roads when you get finished. You could have the lines going down the middle or whatever it is you want to include, okay? Um, so I'm, I'll obviously have this video up and then I'm also going to post um, a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a photograph of an example that you guys could use as well. And another thing you could do if you want to use a uh, like a Google image photograph of an actual city to help you with your design, um, that could be helpful as well. When you're finished, uh, same thing as before, just take a photograph of your drawing, post that on Google Classroom so I could take a look at it uh, and have fun.